Friday morning today, I'm here in Whitchurch near Shropshire and I'm staying at a hotel. Biggest bed I ever slept in. <laughs> nice way to wake up on a Friday. So last night I was giving a talk and presenting awards to a school quite nearby in Whitchurch called St John Talbot School, which was really, really amazing, a brilliant evening. Met loads of really inspirational students, lovely teachers, really old school, um, lots of history, and I had a really nice evening. Unfortunately, being far away from home, I had to stay overnight, and this was the hotel that came up when I was searching for somewhere to stay uh, that wasn't booked and it wasn't um, ridiculously expensive as well. So I'm staying at the, I think it's called the McDonald Hotel. Um, it's a golf course, as you can see outside from the window. And uh, I think it's also got a spa as well. So I'm going to have a quick swim and some breakfast and then head off back to the lakes today. But it was really good. I had a really good talk last night. So good way to start the day. And something you perhaps don't know is that in my ancestry, uh, I'm actually related to the McDonald clan. Nothing to do with the restaurant. But I thought I'd throw it in there just in case it's of interest. Uh, one of my ancestors was called Mary McDonald, who was a redhead. And um, I think she used to chase people down the street with the uh, frying pans or the equivalent back then. They were at war with the Campbells quite a lot. So if you're a Campbell, hello. <laughs> I think that was on my maternal side, my, my maternal grandparents' side, uh, generations and generations back. So all the McDonald's in Scotland. Um, I'm very, very distant and related to, to those. of sauna and a steam room as well. Time to head back into Whitchurch, which I haven't really seen before. Not quite sure I am. There are a plane up there. <laughs> and uh, time to go and catch my train back to the Lake District. Catch up with my dog, do some work. It's been a really nice uh, morning. It's half past 11 now, half past 11, 12 o'clock. I think there's a little bit of a walk, but I'm trying to incorporate a bit more fitness training in with my daily routine no matter what I'm doing so this worked out really well given the talk last night staying over the, in the hotel making use of the, the facilities this morning get the training session in ready for roam around Britain yeah I don't have great signal here on my phone and my Google Maps decided to update itself <laughs> this could take me some time Autumn is very definitely on the way. Look at the tree, it's starting to change colour. And the holly is starting to get some berries on. Quite a few leaves it's starting to drop as well. Season is changing. Well, I don't know anything about Whitchurch at all. There are lots of red brick buildings and all the street names have words like clay in them. So I suspect the buildings are probably traditionally made of clay. have opened. It's really rainy. And the thing I hate most about the rain is when the cars go past and splash you. That's really annoying. I think I'm almost at the station. How do I know I know the station? There's a couple of clues. This is the old pub. It's closed now. We'll board it up. There's a bit of a clue in the street name as well. Some really interesting buildings in Whitchurch. Look at this one. This whole terrace, Mulgrave Terrace, was built in 1802 or 1902. Oh, I think it's 1802. 
and Richmond Terrace was built in 1891. We made it. We've arrived at Church Station. I've just spotted some information on Whitchurch. It says it's the only town in Shropshire on an original Roman site and the Roman fort of Mendelanium town in Mid Plain was a day's march between Chester and Roxeter. And there's a little bit of information here about John Talbot, Sir John Talbot. Sir John Talbot is the name of the school that I went to visit. And it says he was born in 1386 and was twice governor of Ireland, fought in a hundred years war, immortalised by Shakespeare and Henry IV as the scourge of France. And his heart was brought back to Whitchurch after his death in uh, 1453. And then there's another John Talbot who left £200 to found the school in Whitchurch, which I think is the one I was in yesterday. It's a really interesting place and uh, I've never been to Whitchurch before. I'd like to know more about it, so hopefully I can visit again one day and uh, learn more of the history of Whitchurch here in Shropshire. Head that direction, Shropshire. And you head that direction, but anywhere north, which is where we're going now. I have a few minutes to wait for my train, headed up to Crewe, changing in Crewe, onwards to Oxenholm Lake District and Kendall. It's been a really good trip to Whitchurch. Perfect timing. Train is arriving just as it's starting to rain again.